Hey, this is Gary with Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up scan the email for your Canon copier. If you want to speed up this video, you can click the settings button in the bottom right corner, then select playback speed. From there, you can speed me up or slow me down. Also, there are going to be quick links in the description of this video to every part of this video. So if you've already done one step, you can just head on down to the description and click on a link and it'll skip past to that point. To set up scan the email, you have to set up a sender email address and at least one receiver email address. In this demo, the sender and the receiver will be the same Gmail account. Since the sender is a Gmail account, all of the SMTP settings I type in are only for Gmail accounts. If you want to learn how to set up other email providers such as Outlook, Charter, or any, any number of other providers, click on the gray card in the upper right corner. That video will show you how to research SMTP settings. Once you have researched those settings, you can return to this video and simply replace the settings I type in this video with the settings you find during your research. So the first thing you need to do is set up two-step verification and create an app password in your Gmail account. And I'll go ahead and do that now. If you already have two-step verification, then see the description to skip to the quick link on how to create an app password. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So first, the best way to get to it is just to go to Google's homepage, click on this waffle menu, make sure you're already signed in, click account, click security, two-step verification is currently off, I want to turn it on, get started, now type in your password. Go ahead and type in the phone number you want to use. If it's a landline, make sure it's a phone call, but if it's a cell phone, you can select text message. Click on next. It's gonna go ahead and text your phone and make sure to type in the code. Now that two-step verification is on, we can now create an app password. So let me go to go back to my waffle menu, click account. And from here, I'm just going to type in app passwords. Again, I need to log in. Now it's asking me to verify myself with the code that it's going to text me. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Now that I'm in, I want to go ahead and select an app. Select other, and I'm going to call this the C5535 because that is the copier model I'm going to be connecting this uh, scan to email to. So now I'm going to click generate, and it's going to give me this 16 digit code. Make sure you record this because you're going to have to type this into your copier. Now that I have that password recorded, click on done and I can exit out. So from here, I wanna to connect to my copier through my computer, and the best way to do that is to type in your copier's IP address. If you don't know your copier's IP address, there's a gray card in the upper right corner, and in that video, you'll see how to find out your copier's IP address. But since I know mine, I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. It's 192.168.1.81. I want to type in my username and my password. Go ahead and log in. From here, click on Settings Registration. Under Function Settings, click Send. First, go to Network Settings. First, select SMTP Server and that's going to be smtp.gmail.com. Under email address, use your Gmail account. In this case, it's going to be dsiathens at gmail.com. Go down here, click on Allow TLS. Use SMTP authentication. Type in your email address again, your Gmail account. Click Change Password, and right here, type in the password you got from the app 
passwords, your Google app passwords, it'll be that 16 digit password. Type it again. Now select confirm TLS certificate and always allow TLS. Lastly, check the SMTP RX box. Now press OK. Now go back to network settings. Click on check SMTP connection. The connection was successful, so press OK. And from here, go back to send, common settings. This will be the sender's name. I'm just going to call it the Canon 5535. Press OK. Now go to communication settings. Let me create a default subject. This is going to be, I'm just going to call it scan from C5535 and press OK. I'm going to go back to portal. I'm going to go to the address book. And here I'm going to create the recipient, which will be the same as the sender. First click on address list 01. Register new destination. I'm going to give it my name, Gabriel, and I'll give it the DSI Athens at gmail.com. Press OK. If I want to create another recipient, for example, another Gmail, I can just do the same thing right here. I've tested this on Outlook, and it also worked fine. You're going to have to test and see if you can send your scans to non-Gmail accounts. Uh, and you can do that by register a new destination and sending them practice scans. But here's the one scan I wanted to set up, and that's good to go. I'm going to go back to Portal. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and log out. And now I've got to walk over to the copier to set the port settings. So first log in as the administrator of your Canon copier. Then click on settings registration, device settings, function settings, send, email IFAC settings, and then specify port number for SMTP. Here type in 465 and press OK and now close and log out as the administrator. Now press scan and send, address book, click on the receiver of the email, go ahead and put in your document. Now press OK and if you want to adjust the settings we can change it to color or black and white. I'm going to put it on color. If you want to adjust the resolution, I'm going to change it to 400 in this example. And if I want to change the file type, I can click on the PDF button, change it if I want to, but I'm going to keep it as PDF. And that's it. I can now press the green start button and send the scan. Now let me see if the scan pops up, and it does. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And here is the color PDF of the menu for Ken's Taqueria, the best taco bar in Athens, Georgia. Anyways, if you want to learn how to set up your defaults for scanning in documents, click on the video link to the left. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us down in the comments below. I hope this video helped, and thank you for watching.